My fellow Americans, I, I come to you tonight with unusual news. As some of you may already know, a UAP has just crashed north of Austin, Texas. Local police and locals from the area have published several videos on social media depicting human-like beings dead on injured. We ask for your patience as we are investigating this incident. There is debris in several parts of town. We ask you to please not collect any materials as it is believed it may be highly radioactive. The military has been deployed to the area. We ask every resident in the area to please stay indoors and cooperate with authorities. This is a historic moment for our country and the world. Other crashes have been reported in Europe and Asia. We are keeping close communication with other governments to coordinate a response. This is a time for us Americans to come together. May God, God bless, bless you, you, and God bless America. That right there was us using a free deepfake AI voice generator. Imagine if someone plays this for the whole country, on the radio, without context. People would panic. Even if it is reported that the audio was fake later on, it would still cause plenty of chaos in the interim. Not to mention the fact that many will never believe it was fake to begin with, as conspiracies will most likely pop up on the internet, as we've seen happen many times before. Now, let's look at another scenario. A more scary scenario, in my opinion. Imagine one day you get a text from an unknown number. They sent a video, and the thumbnail is somebody you know. Let's say a family member. You play the video, and it's that family member tied up, and they look like they've been hurt. As you play the video, a voice in the background claims the person has been kidnapped and will be killed if you don't do as instructed. Then they follow up, asking for a small amount of money, and you only have a few minutes to make the transaction. Anyone would panic. Imagine you hang up and call that family member, and they don't pick up or answer your messages. You think the worst. You make the payment, and a few minutes or hours later, you find out that the family member is okay. She or he was never kidnapped. It was all a scam. But you saw a video. They were hurt and screaming. How did that happen? That's what we might see in the future. Currently, there are scams like this where people receive phone calls from someone screaming and crying. Then someone else picks up the phone and says you have so much time to pay a ransom. These groups might just try to guess the name of someone you may be close to, or they might know more details about you and your loved ones with the use of social media, where nowadays people post everything they do throughout the day. They might just know when a family member, spouse, or friend will most likely be busy and will not pick up the phone. The future of deepfake technology is about to take this to the next level. Welcome to the Dark History Project, where we delve deep into the stories of the past that may have been overlooked or forgotten, but have had a significant impact on history. From forgotten battles and unsung heroes, to tragic events and mysterious disappearances, we explore the darker corners of history to shed light on the stories that have shaped our world. Join us as we uncover the hidden tales that deserve to be remembered and bring them to light for a new generation of listeners. This is The Dark History Project. Before we get started, we would love for you to subscribe, like, and comment on whatever platform you are listening to or viewing this on. That way, you'll know when new episodes are available. Also, please share this episode with your friends and family if you think they'll find it interesting. Now back to our main topic. Have you seen those funny Tom Cruise videos where he is doing things regular people do like cooking, cleaning, or getting ready for a date? Every time a new Tom Cruise deepfake video comes out, it gets better and better. The band Limp Bizkit just came out with a new music video called Out of Style, where each member of the band is a different president. We see Biden, Putin, Zelensky, Kim Jong-un, and Xi Jinping. You can tell it's a deepfake video, but it looks pretty good. They even have Tom Cruise cooking hot dogs in the background. But just as this technology can be used for entertainment, it can also be used for some pretty creepy and scary stuff. Now, let's get into it. What's a deepfake? 
A deepfake is a video or audio recording that has been manipulated using artificial intelligence to make it appear as if someone is saying or doing something they did not actually say or do. Deepfakes are becoming increasingly sophisticated, and it is now possible to create deepfakes that are indistinguishable from real videos. This means that deepfakes could be used to spread misinformation on a massive scale or even commit crimes with potentially devastating consequences. Deepfakes are created using a process called deep learning. We'll cover the technical aspects more in a bit. Deepfakes can be used to spread misinformation and harm people in a number of ways. For example, deepfakes can be used to create fake videos of politicians saying or doing things that they never actually said or did. These videos can be used to damage the reputations of those politicians and even scarier to influence elections. Imagine a shadow organization has the funds to create videos that will benefit the political party they want. Or even if someone releases a deepfake video so damaging and so real that they have no option but to resign their post because of how real it looks. Deepfakes can also be used to create fake videos of celebrities and other public figures. These videos can be used to spread misinformation and damage the reputations of the people they depict. In the past, there have been lawsuits of famous celebrities against companies for creating deepfake adult videos that look real. And according to The Guardian, the demand for such adult celebrity videos has exploded in the last few months. Now they use images from publicly available information, movies, videos online, and social media to create these deepfake adult videos. Imagine what would happen when this technology is more available to every non-tech person. Blackmailing is expected to increase. Imagine someone calls you or sends you a message where there is an adult video playing and you are in it, but you actually never participated in it. It's a deepfake, and unless you pay them money, they will share it with your contacts on social media. Or, even if there's a friend that holds a grudge and decides to create a deepfake video just to get back at you. As we have said, it can get scary real quick. Let's take a look at how it all got started. The history of deepfakes is a relatively short one, but it has already had a significant impact on society. The first deepfakes were created in the early 2010s, but they did not become widely known until 2018, when a number of high-profile deepfake videos were released. These videos included one that appeared to show President Barack Obama insulting then-president-elect Donald Trump, and another that showed actress Gal Gadot endorsing a cryptocurrency scam. The release of these videos sparked a public outcry about the potential dangers of deepfakes. Critics warned that deepfakes could be used to spread misinformation, damage reputations, and even incite violence. In response to these concerns, governments and technology companies have begun to take steps to combat deepfakes. In 2019, the United States Department of Justice announced a new initiative to combat deepfakes and other forms of disinformation. And in 2020, Facebook announced that it would be using AI to identify and remove deepfakes from its platform. Let's take a look at how deepfakes are made. Deepfakes are created using a process called deep learning. Deep learning is a type of machine learning that allows computers to learn from data without being explicitly programmed. Deep learning algorithms are trained on large amounts of data, such as images or videos. Once they have been trained, they can be used to create new images or videos that are similar to the data they were trained on. In the case of deepfakes, deep learning algorithms are trained on images or videos of a person's face. The algorithm learns to identify the unique features of the person's face, such as the shape of their eyes, nose, and mouth. Once the algorithm has learned these features, it can be used to create a new image or video of the person's face. The new image or video can be manipulated to make it appear as if the person is saying or doing something they did not actually say or do. There are a number of different deepfake creation techniques. One common technique is to use a technique called face swapping. Face swapping involves taking two images of two different people and then using deep learning to swap the two faces. 
Another common deepfake creation technique is to use a technique called deepfake voice synthesis. Deepfake voice synthesis involves using deep learning to create a fake voice that sounds like the voice of a real person. This can be used to create fake audio recordings of a person saying things that they never actually said, just like the one we played at the beginning of this episode. Deepfakes are a relatively new technology, and the methods used to create them are constantly evolving. As deepfake technology becomes more sophisticated, it is becoming increasingly difficult to detect and prevent deepfakes from being published. What are the dangers of deepfakes? How can they be used to spread misinformation and harm people? As deepfakes are becoming increasingly sophisticated, it is now possible to create deepfakes that are indistinguishable from real videos. This means that deepfakes could be used to spread misinformation on a massive scale with potentially devastating consequences affecting governments and consequently millions of people. Deepfakes can also be used to create fake news stories. These fake news stories can be used to spread misinformation and sow discord in society. The most obvious is to influence elections. It's not hard to think that political parties can spend funds on just creating deepfake content to attack the competition and destroy their credibility. It's almost just a matter of who could think to create the most disturbing content possible about your opponents. Deepfakes can also be used to create fake evidence, which can be used to frame people for crimes, blackmail people, and commit fraud. Imagine in the future, where even security footage can be altered to show someone doing a crime or to disprove someone committed a crime. It is important to be aware of the potential dangers of deepfakes and to be critical of the information that you see online. One possible future for deepfake technology is that it could become more accessible and easier to use, making it available to a wider range of people. This could result in an increase in the number of fake videos and images being circulated on the internet, leading to a greater risk of misinformation and propaganda. It could also lead to other forms of cybercrime, such as identity theft. On the other hand, there are also positive applications of deepfake technology, such as in the film and gaming industry. It could also be used for training purposes, such as in the medical field, where realistic simulations can help train medical professionals to handle complex situations. To combat the potential negative consequences of deepfake technology, there will likely be an increase in regulations and policies aimed at controlling its use. This could include measures such as requiring digital watermarks on all images and videos, or requiring platforms to verify the authenticity of content before it is allowed to be shared. Overall, the future of deepfake technology is complex and uncertain. While it has the potential to bring significant benefits, there are also significant risks that must be addressed to ensure its responsible use. For now, all we can do is be careful about what we post on social media and who we share things with, as all this data just feeds the machine to create better deepfake content. For now, we're having fun with deepfake technology and use it mainly for entertainment. This technology's history is being written right now. For all you know, maybe I'm not even a real person. Or am I? Goodbye. Thank you for being with us for this episode of the Dark History Project. Hopefully we've inspired some of you to look further into these characters and stories. Please help us out by sharing, subscribing, or liking this episode. If the platform you are listening to allows for comments, please let us know what you think. Feel free to discuss this topic or what topics you would like for us to cover in the future. Our next episode will come out soon, where we'll talk about the Shadow CIA agent that changed history forever. See you then.